Elaine and Andy Larson suffered a tragic loss over five years ago. Since that day, the Larsons have turned their energy into helping others with the annual Tattoo-a-thon that they hold each year with Zealous Art Studio and Tattoo. We had a chance to speak with Elaine and Andy and a few others about this annual event that brings suicide awareness into our community. I'm Elaine Larson, Andy Larson, and Angie Humphrey. Just kind of started about five years ago, I think we started Team Sun, after we lost our son to suicide. Um, it's evolved to this. What started as a friend's suggestion to do a tattoo-a-thon has grown over the years. We did um, 54 tattoos the first year, 76 the second, and 105 last year. We're looking to shatter that record. This is our fourth annual, and we have probably 80 tattoos scheduled for today, and uh, quite a long waiting list of people who would like to get in if there's cancellations. I know it's a really important special day for a lot of people, um, and they can talk with their tattoo artist about maybe who they're getting their tattoo for, in memory of, or even themselves that have had an issue in the past. And so, yep, it's a pretty important day for a lot of people. We also had a chance to talk with some of the people there while they were getting their tattoos. What was the feel of what's going on here today? Um, Elaine, uh, is why we're here, yeah. supporting the cause. Tell the folks what you got as a tattoo. I got a bunch of stars and it says never let it fade away. My mom has one that says catch a falling star. Awesome. So I just got one to go with it. I'm getting this quote, this font. What's, Art. What's the quote say? Funny how a melody sounds like a memory. Awesome. So you care to elaborate? What's that, what's that mean to you? Um, well, with my age getting a little older, every song that I'm hearing reminds me of a time in my life or a person in my life, and every body art that I have right now it has a certain meaning, and I love that saying. The Elliots are so generous. The guys, their all their donation, their time, everything has just been amazing. What do you think about the new location? I love it. It's like uh, showing up. Work work. Elaine did tell us that perhaps next year she'd like to add music to the event and also a celebrity artist. She says these events are how they fight back. Came from our situation and this is how we fight back. They're making a positive out of a negative. When we started putting the whole thing together, I'm like, well, what are we going to call this? So we just in the game, Tats for Life, because you have your tattoo for life and you, when you're supporting this event, you're supporting life. And that's exactly what the Larsons are doing and how they show it off are events like this end with a tattoo of their own in their son Cody's handwriting.